Hey, Shalom, Shalom Israel. First off, once you call a lolly, you have a bash in my shy, bash in my cockroach. You got an to the elders and your pastors of great men's stone. Shalom to you, brothers out there in the highways and byways, preaching and teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. You know, this is the brother Chappelle from James Jamaica Camp with a quick lesson. And it's based upon for, um, the trumpet of the Hawa Bashi Shai that is being blown right now. You know, um, yeah, basically, you know, the sounding of the trumpet. And we're not speaking about no physical trumpet. You know, you know we're speaking about the voice of the day of the Lord, man. The voice of the, of the Lord, which is out there, you know, in the men and out there in the highways and the byways, coming out of that spirit and power of the Hawa Bashi Shai. You know what I mean? Bringing this word out to the four corners of the world, man. Right, that's a trumpet that has been blown. Cause what, 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 what does a trumpet do? In ancient time, a trumpet is a <clears throat> is an instrument where you blow, and and if you know what I mean, when you go into war and a lot of a lot of other uses, you know. But mainly, you know, this time we're living in is a time of war. All right, so we sound in the trumpet now. All right, and for about that point. Um, that uh, this trumpet is, was used in Israel, right, for wars and uh, feast days and a lot of things. You know, this is uh, pertaining to war. This is Numbers 10 and verse, you can start at verse 7. It says, um, But when the congregation is to be gathered together, ye shall blow, right, but ye shall not sound an alarm, right, and the sons of Aaron. The priest shall blow a trumpet, and they shall be to you for an ordinance forever throughout your generation. And if you go to war in your land against the enemy that oppress you, right, then ye shall blow an alarm on the trumpet, alarm with the trumpet, right, and shall be remembered before the Lord your God, and ye shall be saved from your enemies, right. So, that was a custom in Israel. Now, today we're blowing this trumpet spiritually to, to the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. And what that trumpet does is waking up our people, right? mainly the elect of the nation of Israel, you know. But nevertheless, we blow it so all can hear, man. Out there in the houses and byways, man. We don't want to sing in our, in our church or in our houses. And you know, just uh, or even just on the internet alone, we we'll go out there in the highways and byways. If people now have access to internet, so them can hear it. You know what I mean? Saying, and and say oh um, say if you go to war in the land against the enemy that oppressed you, and there's a war coming against the enemy that oppresses us, right? The war is going to be fight. America is going to be get, um, get caught in the mid side. Well, America is a big player in this war, I should say. Yeah, uh, against Russia, China, and all of these um, little um, more smaller nations, right in the east, where America has destabilized, you know, or slap sanctions or oppressed them in any sort of way. They are coming at America with full force, man. Right, that's prophecy. Okay, so we hear a sound in the alarm, right? And, and as we say, that trumpet, you know what I mean? It's something spiritual, man. It, it, it's, it's a thing we're dwelling in, in, um, in uh, Israel for generations, as the scripture say. You know, and, and you know, it's been, we've been doing this now on the highways and the byways. You know, the elders have been doing it a long time, man. And, you know, the word is getting out. And the trumpet has been blown, man. So, as you can see on the screen, we have a precept. Right, it's um, this is Joel 2 and 1. It says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound the alarm in my holy mountain. Right, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord is for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is near at hand. Right, and, and look, the day of the Lord is near at hand. Now we know that through the prophecies, uh, the scripture in um, 2nd Ezra 9 and verse 1. They tell you that measure the time though diligently in itself. When you see the signs of things pass, right, which the Lord have told us before, then shall you know that, you know, it is very same time when the Lord begin to visit the world for people from the scripture and it and refers to um when it's the earthquake, you know, in diverse places, wars and rumors of wars. You know what I mean? 
all of these things you're supposed to look for. All of these things we see through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, right? And we and decipher it and we come out and the and boys with that with all of the research and all of the, the breakdown of the scriptures and we we sound in that trumpet man. We sound in that war trumpet, you know? So let you people um know what what, what time we're living in. You know? Um it goes on for several two. It said the day of the Lord. It's like yeah. It's a day of darkness and of gloominess. A day of cloud and thick darkness, as um, the morning spread upon the mount, upon the mountain, a great people um, and a strong. There are <coughs> there are not been uh, ever like. It's like there are not are not been ever the like. Neither shall there be more after any more after right even to the years of many generations all right since the, hey, the time coming man look this is the war to end our war man right this is the war to end all war all right see so look we're blowing this trumpet to get the blood of you people off our hands man because the lord require the lord require us to blow this trumpet you know what I mean? And if we don't blow this trumpet to you people, then we are going to get judged ourselves because we have heard the word. Alright? And we run with the word now because we read it and we believe it. Since so therefore it's our duty to come out, you know what I mean? And, and basically teach this word, man. Alright? This is Ezekiel uh, 33, verse 3. He said, If when he see it, the sword come upon the land, and he blow it, or uh, the trumpet. And he blow it, the trumpet, and warn the people. Whensoever he hear the sound of the trumpet, and take it not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Yeah, you know, if if, if we come out and we, we tell him that, hey, look, this is World War Three, man, and you get yourself right in front of the the, the, the um the how about him before the eyes of the heavenly Father come back to your laws and statutes man you, you people are the, the Israelites um are the, where the scriptures speak about you know what I mean and, and salvation you know the law is of a mercy you know what I mean and if you, you reject that you know what I mean you reject the fact that um there's a third world war coming and you're gonna be destroyed if you're not turned back you know what I mean then hey look the blood is upon you man because we we do our part right we give you warning through the power and spirit of your bashim shai since a lot of what we're doing out here is getting you people blood of our own hands. And so I say, Then whosoever hear the sound of the trumpet and take not warning, it, um, if a sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Right? He hear the sound of the trumpet and took not warning, and his blood shall be upon him. But, and this is the other part of it, if he, that, if he take it warning, um, but he that take it warning shall deliver his soul. Alright? So if you take warning, you're going to deliver your soul, man. Alright? God's will really part of the elect. And, alright? Continuing verse 6 is about if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned if the sword come and take away um, and take any person from among them, he is taking in his iniquity and his blood I will require at the watchman's hand saying so look we as we said before getting our bloods off getting your blood off of our hands man see the scripture say whether they will hear or whether they will forbear you know what I mean because Israel is, is a rebellious people man see so you know look we, we, we getting your people blood off our hands man and, and, and that's just it because the Lord believe it or not the Lord has set up watchmen, right? And and, and it's not it's not the watchmen of this world. It's not your pastors, it's not your politicians, right? It's, it's not your, your local Christians now, your your Bible theologists, or whatever it may be, man. Because those are the wisdom of this world, man. Your understanding of the scriptures of this world, right? Our understanding is of the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, man. And those are the real watchmen. Right, and this is a scripture from um, Isaiah, um, Isaiah 56 and verse 10. It says, Watchmen are blind. Right? They are, they are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. 
they cannot walk sleeping laying down all right loving slumber all right same because all of these people man them them judge for themselves and for them pocket man all right uh, things where we judge for man and things where we set the game is of your how about you share with you which is pure man all right we come into you um, with these lessons and you know scripture we're gonna sell it to you and we're gonna charge you you know what I mean and we're, we're not looking to be laws over anybody all right because guess what it is not our word man all right we were sent we we're called a matter of fact to deliver a message all right forget you people bloods off our hand and that's just that 100 percent that would that's just what we're doing man you know that's it there's no strings attached there's nothing man just delivering you just trying to save the elect all right of the nation of israel that's it all right continuing verse 11 say ye have ye yeah they are all greedy dogs which cannot have enough which can which can never have enough yeah and they are shepherds that cannot understand you can't understand this thing all these things of the spirit so they are look to their own ways right everyone for his gain for his quarter right yeah, we can't really stop there but this is look i'll say look watchmen has been set up man. right just like in the Asian when you have men on the towers watching you know this is this is uh, we're, we're on the towers now man all right all right we're, we're on the tower watching all right seeing this is isaiah 62 and verse 6 say i've set watchmen upon thy walls of jerusalem all right and jerusalem is a people before it come a place all right so jerusalem is your people you you out here in jamaica you predominantly from the tribe of benjamin all right you have the american negroes uh, which is from the tribe of judah then you have the, um, the Latinos and the Native American Indians. You know what I mean? We make up the 12 tribe of Israel. Alright? And you people are Jerusalem, man. Alright? So the scripture says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Alright? Which shall never hold your peace, neither. Which shall never hold your peace day or night. Day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord keep that silent. Alright? So we're not going to keep silent. See, we're going to blow this trumpet until, until our lips them get numb. Alright? Lord's will, we, you know, we continue in this truth. You know what I mean? Tell you how Bashim you Shai, you know, make his entry. You know, but for now, we just ask for the strength of Yahweh Bashim you Shai to bless us and continue blessing us for, for keep pushing out this truth out there. You know, till it reaches to, to the point where Esau can't take it no more, man. You see, in the blowing of this trumpet, you know, yeah, you know, we're warning the people. And he said, I don't like that because he saw the things in, in, um, in subtlety, man. He said, I would like to have you being ignorant always, man. See? So we, we're just shedding a little light and, you know, he's, uh, he's hurt. And that's why I come down on our people as scriptures have been great wrath. You know what I mean? See? So he say, oh, you know, you that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. You know? You know, you know keep silent. That is society, man. Right. Okay. So um. Yeah, I guess. Uh, you know, a matter of fact, let's bring out another scripture. Uh. This is um. Because as we said before, it's a time of war, you know, and we're supposed to be in that mindset, you know. It's just a let go from the mortal thoughts, you know, and um, basically. We're not supposed to be in our mindset where we're, 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 we're still thinking or doubting ourselves, man, because those are the thoughts that, that, um, that are mortal. We're supposed to be in spiritual thoughts, you know, saying because this society has come to an end, all right? So this is uh, uh, Isaiah, a matter of fact, Jeremiah 16, Jeremiah 6 and verse 17. He said, Also, I said, Watchmen over you, saying, Hearken to the sound of a trumpet, but he said we will not hearken, and that's what a lot of people are saying, man. Because even when we're out there and the highways and boys bringing out this word, you have a lot of people scoffing. I like can't say it enough, but um, the other day a lot of people making uh, um, memes, you know, from um, you know, um, on World War Three and a lot of other little things, man. Look, 
people take this thing as a mockery, man. No matter how you, you want them, you know, because them can't fathom it in their mind, say, this place is going to be destroyed or, or America will, will ever be taken down or World War III can affect, affect um, people like in Jamaica or certain parts because they never see a World War before. So the things in where I say is far after them, man. You know? It's, it's, it's far fetched. They can't fathom it in their mind say this is going to really happen. And another thing is that they don't really want to accept the reality because the reality is harsh. Harsh. You know? The reality is harsh, man. You know, say, yo, you're going to be discharged with thermonuclear missiles. Right? And there's nothing where you can do. See? Um, you know? So it's, um, yeah, it's, um, arcing to the sound of a trumpet, but they say, we will not arcing. Therefore, here, ye nations, um, and know, or congregation, what is among, among them. Hear, O earth, and behold, I will bring heave upon these people even the fruit of their thoughts because they have not hearkened unto my words nor my laws but reject it and, that, and, and believe it that the Lord are going to bring them things upon us man this is the Lord you have about him how shy I'm to bring them things no matter how devil, evil and how devious are all cruelly think these things are the Lord is the orchestrator of it man because what you hearken not unto his laws see so to what purpose come it dear to my to me um, incense right from Sheba and the sweet from from um, Cain right <laughs> far um, from a far country your burnt offerings are not acceptable unto your sacrifice vices sweets unto me now your sacrifice um, sweets unto me so the Lord now take the scripture say oh um, I give this child the heart you know what I mean or if you turn judgment, a man can give a gift. You need to sway judgment. Look, man, no matter how much a sacrifice, right? Uh, the scripture says, all oh, the sacrifice of the Lord look for is a broken spirit and a contrite heart. Right? In the book of Psalms. You know what I mean? So, when you speak this word and you, you, you take heed and you, you know, you say, like, damn, shit. And you cut to the spirit and you admit to Yahweh Bashim Yashai, willing to fall in waste, lifting off the old man, putting on the new. You know what I mean? And, and you take heed to all of these things which is to come. And, and knowing the Lord, how about Shemyasha and his laws and statutes and start rehearsing it. You know what I mean? Then you might be saved. You know, then you might just be, be, be among the elect. Man. You know? See, so, so, so there's no matter no much sacrifice, no burn offering, or whatever you can do, man. See, man? You know? You can swear this judgment. Right? So therefore, thus say the Lord, Behold, I will lay a stumbling block before these people, and the fathers um, and the son together shall fall upon them, and neighbors and his friends shall perish. All right? So, hey, a lot of, a lot of race war are going on, man. A lot of, um, the scripture say, um, uh, so the love of many shall wax cold. All right? Because, because of evil, evil increase, or, or um, iniquity abound. Right, uh, for a part of the scripture, um, I remember it very well, but you know, it's something to that effect, you know. Um, so, so yeah, you know, and it goes down to say that, um, yeah, um, verse 22 does say, The Lord, behold, a people coming from the north country with a great nation, it's lucky, um, and a great nation shall rise up from the sides of the earth. And this is speaking about the Russians coming against the Americans, all right? See, Russia and, and um, um, according to Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, uh, and all of those countries, those smaller nations, right, which Russia being um, uh, equipping those, those nations with military equipment, you know what I mean? Topping up their, 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 um, their military, right, to come against America, strengthening them. You know what I mean? Seeing so, a lot are going to bring the calamity upon this society and our people want to get right with the Heavenly Father. You know? They might be totally. Hey, look, you don't want to be on the wrong side of this thing, man. Right? You don't want to be on the wrong side when this thing comes. And there's only one person bringing it. Right? And this is the whole bashing out shot, man. 
which is uh, Amos 3 and verse 6, it says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not afraid? Yeah, so, so the time a lot of people take saying, um, you know, them now go ark in or a fool in the say or whatever, man. Look, you should be afraid, man. Alright? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in a city? And the Lord had not done it because the Lord had bring a lot of these evil men. And presuming, and, and going back to the, the first chapter, um, not, well, not the first chapter, but um, the first scripture we read in Numbers 10 and 8. When the children of Israel, when the, the trumpet was being blown in that time, coming up, the children of Israel knew what that trumpet meant. And they, they take heed, you know what I mean, and, and try to, to save them soul. But now in this society, you know, you, you blow the same trumpet and all people, you know, don't know what, it, what that means, man. You know, you're preaching at a war and you're making it clear to them. It's not what we're blowing an unfamiliar trumpet. You know, we, we speak, you know, that does say the Lord, you how about you, we're reading out of the book for them all dear to, and them read out of every day. Seeing and say, oh, this is what the Lord said, come. But they don't believe it. You know, they don't know these things, man. They don't know. But back then, when if you blow a trumpet, Israel will assemble himself. I saw the scripture say, you might go restore him judges as at the first. You know? See, then shall they all be called the, the, um, the city of righteousness. See, so with that one, they call the Lord, you have a Bashim of Shai, Bashim of Kodash, the Bahamas, the elders, and the apostles of the witness stone. Shalom to your brothers out here in Iris and the Byways, teaching his word in sincerity and in truth. And hope this lesson was very fine. You know, we, we will continue to blow this trumpet as uh, uh, you know, till the mouth get numb. You know, till we can't feel the lips no more, man. Lord's will. You know, you, you know, may the Lord, you have a shame and shame, and Israel, the elect of Israel, man. You know, Shalom.